Ladies and gentlemen, Dizzle is back with another episode of building and talking to you guys. Uh, let me get you caught up. Uh, we've been busy with some things over here. First, let me actually let's go over here really quick. This is my new favorite vehicle, guys. This is by Jax Beck. And forgive me if I'm pronouncing their name wrong, but man, I saw this video on this helicopter and I'm like, this fits Dizzle's, uh, I guess persona, if that's what you want to say. Dizzle likes to build these cozy builds here. That's why I go with half walls a lot. And this little vehicle right here, I have never used a vehicle so much uh, than this vehicle right here. The only thing I did is I took off the front guards and yes, I butchered it <laughs> because Dizzle wants a little bit of storage when he travels to uh, go get material and stuff. So that, that, that's pretty much what I did and added to it. Um, but this thing is great. Oh, and I took off one of the, the uh, thrusters, the small thrusters on the side because just like Dizzle doesn't drive very well, I don't fly very well either, guys. But I've been enjoying this. This is probably, again, the most I've ever used a vehicle in this game. This thing is awesome. I will link, uh, if you haven't seen it, I'm sure you have, but I have. I will link uh, that video in the description, guys. This is what, this is Dizzle's favorite whip right now. Let's see what else we got going on. I made a new bed. New bed over here. Oh, where'd it go? Gotta put one in there. Oh, yeah, I took it out, because we got uh, we got links over here. I kicked out uh, Spark Plug. <laughs> Spark Plug's been with us forever. Poor girl, she got the boot. <laughs> But Lynx is here now, working him on the uh, composter, trying that out. As well as I have two people on the uh, smelter, so I can get plenty of glass. That's working. And sometimes I switch it out for the um, the uh, obsidian slab, so I can make a uh, large chest. So I'll switch them out every now and then to do that. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, so we, we took care of that. We took this one out right here. Kept that one in. Did, did a uh, dizzled back-to-back uh, -back storage shed. As well as we shortened it up again, because we switched out the piece that we used in the very beginning, and now we're using a, um, what support is that? That is a Nightly Pillar from Lion's Night Castle. That's my new favorite pillar for Dizzle storage sheds. As well as, guys, we can put large chest up top now, like that, over the machines. And depending on the machine, you could probably put four. So that that is an awesome... Uh, update to these dizzle storage sheds over here i've done a look at it. we're running a lot smoother guys dizzle's uh storefronts are gone <laughs> and dizzle's smokehouse that one but that was first to go because those trees right there were growing through it so i'm like you're out of here oh i didn't take care of that but uh we're running so much better over here now guys which is really good because uh that's next right there we're gonna be taking that out and moving uh this over there and beef boss out of that uh a large lodge there and move them in there but it's good that we're running better because we need to expand this and that's what we're going to work on now you guys your ideas have been great uh, i really wanted to get that tutorial out because guys if you're new to the channel uh dizzle likes to build uh, in survival mostly and uh i can get carried away and i just wanted to make sure i got the tutorial out for you that way you guys can use it Make changes to it. Again, nothing's in stone with my tutorials, guys. Make improvements if you see it. See fit, okay? Uh, I did some changes in here. For the first time, Dizzle had a guest in here. Yes, believe it or not, I had a guest in my own... Or, I'm sorry, a guest in my own personal world. And uh, with that being said, Dizzle needed to uh, fix some storage because we were working on some stuff and uh, they needed supplies. And we were... Even though that's close over there... Dizzle was running back and forth to make sure I can get some supplies. He's going through the drive-thru. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, man. I had to make sure we had plenty of supplies. So the we had... That's gone. Everything's gone now. But uh, we had the smaller Dizzle storage shed from uh, the Noble set from the Lion's Knight Castle. Bump, knocked out this wall here. Made a pass-through. And now we made this back of the garage uh, storage which is really good had a little cubby area there because we created this and it created another one so I put the uh, Durberger prep counter down at the bottom and I put the Durberger uh, lockers on top of that so now we have even more storage uh, let's see get you up to date all the uh, biomass we got 
this was starting to make some extra uh, cells. Even though I'm not using them as much. I haven't been driving, guys. Like I said, that is my new favorite vehicle. That's the way Dizzle's been getting around the most right now. Uh, eventually, I'll get, get to a car. I just don't like how uh, unstable these vehicles are. That, that would be my, my biggest complaint about them. All right, so someone had mentioned, I said, give me ideas, guys. And someone had mentioned a motel, single level. And I thought about it. I'm like, you know, where am I going to put that? And I'm like, you know what? If we're making this survival, right? If we made this into a, we can't, I don't think we can make it into a base because we're too close to that. I can try it. I haven't yet. But, uh, they need to, the villagers would need a place to live. And I figured, like, this would be great for at least five villagers. Guys, oh my gosh, you have no idea how crazy it is over here now. It's like someone over there at Lego Fortnite turned the switch on Dizzle. Oh, and I will actually, that, I'll insert the clip now, the brute. I have fought that brute twice already. But here's, here's the clip. Guys, I'm left with no choice. We have to go kill this, uh... Make two of these. Just in case. Probably can get away with just one. We have an abundance of copper. Uh, let's move that, that. We got some food. Alright, let's go do this. Somebody put in the comments, time to take care of business. He's destroyed. He's starting to destroy. Starting to destroy our base, guys. He's, he finally got close enough. Chase a couple of chickens over here, and then he started spitting at me. I ran away quickly before he did any more damage. He got as far as those pumps over there, but didn't do anything. Thankfully, he didn't charge. Man, I gotta fight this wolf, too. Thankfully, it's just a regular brute. I can take care of him pretty quick, but... This is survival at its best. Dizzle asked for it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna accept the challenge. But it looks like we're gonna have to be prepared to do this every time. I knew he was over here, but he never came that close. He's coming closer and closer now. Couldn't dodge that one. Alright. He's out of here. We'll get a scale out of it. <laughs> and I can put the uh, wolf's uh, claws in the composter. Alright. Back to work. So yeah, that's pretty much what it's been like over here. I fixed it right here. I didn't put the the berries back in yet. And I'm just I'm gonna wait. I ran into the same issue with um when I was making the all white beach house. There was a a brute over there, and um the more I built, he moved. So I'm kind of hoping that's what happens, guys. Uh, let's see. I think I wanna I wanna make this. don't want um shoot this is this will make us five but whoever gets the middle one in this corner is gonna have a little bit of luxury in this motel i guess i'll pick that up for now do i need corners i do um see i have not built with pleasant park yet so this is gonna be a first so first for Durburger, first for uh pleasant park how does this work? Do we just put those on? Another object is in the way. Is that the, uh, is that these guys? If it is, that's gonna stink because I was thinking over here, but I might have to take them off the ground now. Uh, you know how the, the, these type of motels, they have, like, the ACs. Thinking of putting them, dude, that one can go that way. But 
But I wanted to make it close because this way they can go work over here or come over here or I can be close to them. I'm thinking full village and not only just village guys, I have ideas now. You guys have been great suggesting stuff. Really do appreciate that. I don't know if we have to raise this then. I think I'm going to do that. Hang on guys. Bear with me here. see let's put uh sometimes i like to do this sometimes i don't but i think this is this is one of those times where we're gonna have to um no i'm gonna have to raise it even more hang on let's do this there we go now let's go back to those walls. Is that a full square right there? Yeah. Now let's see if this works. All right, it does. So we're gonna have to do the same all the way across and let's just do that now. This was busy chatting, lost her precious daylight. Uh, let me do this one really quick and then it'll let me know how even it is on that side. Guys, remember in the past, you used to break things and then you used to break those plots? <laughs> Times have changed, huh? Well, that works then because that fills that in. I don't have to worry about that anymore. I did not start my timer, guys. I like to start a timer so I don't run these videos too long. But I'm not going to do much with these because, again, we're going to single level motel. So we're going to run. Run these pretty ragged. We're not giving them that much luxury. <laughs> you get a door and a window. Whoever has the center bunk gets uh, gets the more, more space. I don't even know if I want to give the corners a window. <laughs> you get a single window. That's it. Look. This is, oh, actually, no. Now we got to do this. Okay. But I figured, you know, try to help you guys. Is he coming after me? He is. We got him. No problem. All right, uh, let's see what's next. We have to do that. And that. Let's go to the doors. Oh, it's nighttime. Dedizzle still needs to go get those thermal fish so he can get the illuminator. Guys, if I get quiet and don't respond, let me put this on really quick. To the comments right away it's probably well IRL number one but I'm probably busy doing some type of uh oh yes that's gonna look look really nice all right let's wait for daylight then I'll finish my thought with for you guys all right we'll be back all right, we're back got an overcast day guys but what I was gonna say is if I don't respond to comments right away. Don't take it to heart. This all gets caught up in uh, other things. Like I said, I was doing a lot of cleanup yesterday that needed to be done. So we could keep doing this. What did I mess up there? All right, because we went that we have to, okay, I got to fix this. But I got a lot done. Plus, like I said, for the first time, Dizzle... Dizzle had a guest in here. Put it in the floor. What floor do we use? I know I want to go with the flat roof for this for sure. Uh, I want to go with the darker roof. Uh-oh. He's back. Mm. What do we got? Not many choices. All 
All right, all right, leave me alone. Yeah, I guess we'll go with the same floor for now. And the fact I am going with the same floor, um, someone had mentioned, and I believe me, I thought about it, uh, to make these, use the solid color, and then make the, I already started the lines. Believe me, I want to do that. My concern is high complexity, and that's why I've been doing the work. Um, like I said, I did not respond to comments right away because I, just, I needed to get stuff done. Be honest, Dizzle needs somebody <laughs> in here helping him. Oh, man. He opened the door, opened the floodgates. Who wants to come help Dizzle? Oh, uh, let's see. We do this now. We can't. We got to do this. Hopefully the uh, the sun comes out. We got to go all the way across. I might as well, let's see, if we take this out. Guys, time is flying already. Dizzle's got to keep track of time because... Okay. I would like to finish this all on one recording. See back to doors. I don't know what I'm gonna do in between there. Again, I have not messed with Pleasant Park, and I don't want to make it look too pretty. Did we do that over there yet? Oh no, Dizzle messed up here. We gotta take this out, guys the floor and the bottom. It needs to support that corner piece. Not a problem that we can't fix. All right. Oh, this piece. What are you gonna do here, Dizzle? Hmm? Huh? Oh, look. That's what I'm gonna do. Perfect. Oh, wait. Perfecto. Let's do the same on the other side. Gotta fix that still. And I wanted it back to back. I didn't want the uh, the front this way. Plus, when we finish this out. Do a screenshot that way. Let me mess with this roof really quick. We got a great suggestion, guys. This will greatly appreciates it. Um. This has snowballed, and no, I have not forgot about Modern Beach House <laughs> before I get asked. I have not. Okay, why won't this go? It's gotta go higher? Yeah, it's gotta go on those supports. Please tell me I put that on right. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Too far. Let me get this all in, guys, and then I'll bring you back, all right? All right, guys, we're back. And I did more than just the roof. <laughs> oh, man. Are you ready? Oh, uh, we got some more work to do, but it's a work in progress. Here's the pool, but not a pool. <laughs> Uh, Dizzle's calling this not so pleasant motel. Uh, the br good news is the brutes have not been here. Like I said, I I've dealt with this before on the uh, all white beach house, and as long as you keep building, they just they either won't respawn or they just they respawn further away. So I have not seen them. Knock on wood. Uh, de definitely seen plenty of crabs now and spiders and wolves in its place. There's another crab over there. Uh, other than that, uh, brute-wise, we're good. 
But we have all five, so if we were to make this um, a legit... And I did try, guys. Unfortunately, we can't. It's saying... Oh, we can over here! Oh, guys, we can make this a base over here. Hmm, do we do that? All right. But I only decorated this one right here. Oh, shoot. Did I hit that? This is the, uh... This is the suite, because this is the largest of the rooms. And you get a toilet in this one. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm trying to make this dysfunctional as possible. That's supposed to represent the uh, house cleaning. We have the office over here. Come in. Yeah, you gotta get your uh, continental breakfast. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> oh. I thought we had garbage cans, guys. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I ended up putting composters back in. And in the back, I think I already shown you this. We got all the ACs in. Oh, Dizzle's got to finish that right here. But what what I want to add to this is an actual the crabs throwing stuff at me. Uh, an actual bathroom probably right here in the shower where you would have to come out and because uh, you don't have one again. Only that one does. That's the suite. Everyone else would have to come u utilize uh bathroom out here. And then I'm going to wrap this around there. I had to put this, double this up, the height. And then I'm going to come around this way. Get rid of this dude. I don't have a shield on me, so I'm going to do it the hard way. There we go. Get out of here. Guys, this is, this is going to snowball into a small village, pretty much. Oh! Might as well go show you that now. <laughs> uh, I, I took a break from building this, and I can't, in, in the process... Going through YouTube, I came across YouTube, and I don't even know how I have not found this person a while ago. Because it's not just vehicles. They have some pretty nice builds. This is going to do some binge watching on his his or her channel. Forgive me if I, uh, I don't know. So I'm going to say his or hers. But I had commented on this car. I, guys, I, I now I have found my car. I found my, my heli by Jax Beck. Now we have a car by light. This is this is probably the best looking car I've seen so far, in my opinion. And I told you I couldn't wait to see people's builds. And if anything, Dizzle was just gonna take one of them. And actually, I didn't take this one. I had commented uh, that this was a really nice build. And, and they said, hey, that would look nice in your gas station. I said, done deal. I got you. So th here it is. And I, guys, I've driven this thing already. And I'm sure you've watched. If you haven't watched this video, I'm going to link it. Him, uh, the jacks, and this uh, light. Oh, shoot. This thing is fast. Even without stable. Oh, that's the bug that they got to fix. But it's stable. And it's fast even without the boost. I'm excited, guys. This vehicle update is great. Again, they need some patchwork. But uh, other than that, Dizzle now has another whip. We got two vehicles now. I'm going to park it right over here. It's got the storage on it. Look at this thing. Guys, even with the boost... This looks so cool. But anyways, we got some more work to do on this. We're going to wrap this one up probably in the next episode. And then uh, I think I want to work on... I want to see. We may or may not do a car wash. Ryan had suggested in the comments. He thought that we had a car wash over there. And I'm thinking a car wash right here. Non-functional though, because there's no way you're going to be able to put cars through there. But it could be cool. Oh, it's about to rain. Probably a good spot to end this one. But I ended up doing... Let me take you up top really quick. I did finish the roof. This is what it looks like up top. I went with the darker roof. I put the ventilation fans in. Again, we got the ACs in the back. Five rooms for all five villagers. 
So again, being close to the gas station like this, guys, you can make this a functional, a functional village. I don't know what's next. Oh, and I also went with uh, a modernist came out, member of their gas station. I linked that in the community, and they were using uh, this particular floor. I wanted to go with all smooth, but we are we're starting to lag already, guys. Unfortunately, and I don't know if we put a village square if that'll make it better or worse, but. We were lagging every time I go back and forth now, and I still got some more stuff to take down over there, so it might it might work better for us if I do that. It's just a matter of working on this and this at the same time. As I was saying, Dizzle Dizzle might need some help. <laughs> we got this one. This is snowballing into a lot. Again, this is gonna be a small little uh, small little town over here. Uh, but I don't know other than the uh, the car wash and then maybe a Durberger actual Durberger blueprint. I think it would look pretty cool. It's either the gas station here or the Durberger or the car wash or the Durberger blueprint right there. And then I'm going to make another parking lot. This is going to be a little bit bigger. Because Dizzle's going to be looking out for more cars, guys. I want to fill parking spots up. We have parking spots back over here. All right. And I don't want to use all of these blueprints. So if Dizzle finds another one, he's putting it in. You know how they have those those meetups at gas stations? That's what Dizzle wants to do, but with with uh, other people's builds and put them in here. Obviously, they're already showcasing them on their own channel, but Dizzle will uh, have them part of his uh, this village here. All right, all right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up. Let's go back and finish over here. This is gonna come around this way. We got some things to finish over here. Let me turn around this way. But this is our not so pleasant, uh, not so pleasant motel. All right, Dizzle will catch you on the next one.